Like a, it's funny that as I ride, it looked like a kill shot. Looked like a yeah, looking out a sniper range. <laughs> they want you to know <laughs> what's about to go down. Mm. Now, J J J. <laughs> it should be fun. I mean, it's been a while, man. Yes, it has. And uh, I know they won't expect in this, but it is what it is. I got a question for you before we even get into the deep stuff. Oh, here we go. <laughs> let's, let's, before we get into the deep stuff, I want to know, why do people... No, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. No. Not, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's get to the obvious stuff. Why your job hop so much? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why do I job hop? Um... Hmm. I think that I'm just trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> um, for whatever reason, on trucking YouTube, it's this, you know, idea that you just come out here and you just figure shit out. Like, you know, your first job is it. You know, that's where you're going to be. That's where you're going to spend your career at. You're going to grow from there. <clears throat> and that's not the case in this industry. Um, like, if you look at the turnover rate, for sure. companies and shit like that. It's what I do is actually normal. Um, which is why it's so funny to me when people make it seem abnormal. Um, but for me it was just trying to figure it out, man. Like, you know, I came into this game at twenty four. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. um not using my age as an excuse, but I was twenty four. You know, I mean never made this type of money before, never had this type of opportunity, you know what I mean? I only heard about this type of shit. Mm-hmm. So, um I think I just got caught up in you know, always thinking the grass is greener, you know what I'm saying? Um, however, I do think that I'm grateful for my job hopping because I don't really think that I would be as knowledgeable and where I'm at today without it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, with the type of goals that I have for this industry and other businesses, it was a part of my journey. So at the end of the day, we all got to walk our own path. And this was just the path for me. So to answer that question, um, why do I job hop? I do what I got to do when I got to do it, and just hope that it works, just like any other man. Now that's this is a I'm not gonna lie, this is a it's a two pronged question. Okay. Why do you think you get the response from job hopping that you get? Because I don't think no one gets just abused as bad as you. Because everybody does it. That, that's the crazy part. I, I mean, everyone does it. Yeah. You've done it. Chase and Andrew. Mm. Um, if we include the owner ops, LaShawn has had a bunch of different contracts. Ghost. And this isn't shots, of course. You know, I'm saying this because it's factual information that can be backed up. It's, it's, it's different from what a subliminal is versus actual facts. Mm-hmm. Um, even though I am known as subliminal king. <laughs> mm. Proud of it. Mm. But um, anyways... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just honestly, I don't. I think that when I first came on YouTube and even up until this point, um, I've struggled with emotional reactions, impulsive reactions to certain comments, response videos. And so I think I'm an easy target for those type of people who like to heavily criticize mm-hmm. YouTubers or influencers. It's, you know, that's what Trucker Path called me now. You know, I'm an influencer for Trucker Path, biggest trucking app on the, you know what I mean, in the world. Hey. Anyway, um, Shameless plug. But, uh... <laughs> they ain't never holler at me, so... <laughs> truck of pass expect to be bleeped out. <laughs> um, Immediately. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, man, I, I think just because my emotions and how I respond to criticism, or at least how I used to respond to it, it made me an easy target for internet bullies, so... That's so you think that's what it's called, is internet bullying? 100%. 100%. Trucking, and you gotta call it trucking and internet bullying, because trucking has a lot of it has a lot of bullies in it, man. One thousand percent, one thousand, and bullies that have not yet figured their situation out. Because I mean, let's be honest. Mm. To me, if you've been in the truck longer than ten years, that's not success to oh, me. Oh, 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 oh! You, 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 you're stepping on toes. Off, hey, man, and this is why they get on you, right? Here. What I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you man. You got a word that right. The way, okay. And so, let, if, if it was your aim to just, I'm, I'm that's all I want to be is a trucker. Right. If that's your aim, then it's success. But if it wasn't, it's a failure. So the way gotta... the way that they come at me, 
they make it seem like, you know, the goal is to get home to the family, to find a nice local job and, you know, be home every night and all that. So what happens is I feel like if you've been OTR for 10, 15 years, isn't that not failure by the same stip- stipulations or, or regs that you're trying to hold me to? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't understand. But then it becomes, trucking is a matter of, you know, what each individual person wants to do. Which is why I don't feel bad about job hopping, whereas the people who criticize me, they do. So it's just like, if you want to be in a truck for 10, 15 years, cool. Obviously, what my journey is going to look like ain't going to be the same as yours. Because I don't want to be in a truck for 10, 15 years. I want to use it to move on and, and be home more. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... Now, you, you now, now let me go and chime in real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, Because I know this is going to attract a lot of jigaboo. <laughs> okay, sugar cooning. I have been driving for eight going on nine years. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I, my first four or five years, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just, uh, I, I just wanted to make money. You know, so then after once you realize, like, okay, what do I want to do? So then I start looking at local stuff, which you've done to yourself. Uh, love, <laughs> yeah, very much so. And you realize that trucking has afforded you a residual income that you're going to have to do two things. You're going to have to, A, invest your money in a way where you're making residual money off your investment to live the same income lifestyle, or B, you're going to have to humble yourself on your residual income. Yeah. And speaking from experience, that is not an easy thing to do. It's not. It's, it's hard going from 25 regular to 8 maybe. Yeah. That's a rough stretch. Yeah. So, but people and people acquire so much stuff that now they, they just can't. Yeah. They, once you acquire a mortgage based on $2,500 a week, you acquire two cars based on $125 a week, you 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 acquire private schools. You have a lot of kids, like yeah. you got money like that. Now I, you can't bounce. I just went through that. I literally just gave up everything. Mm. I literally, like literally, like as I sit here now, we are living with my wife's mom for the next month until our new apartment is ready. But I had a big ass house, guest house in the back, two cars, Verizon with everything. Cox with everything like I was had I had two electric bills, two water bills, two of everything except for rent, uh, multiple cell phones. I had a cell phone, like three different cell phone bills, like the whole shebang. You, like you I was big money grill. Like I was spending right at like five thousand dollars a month That's to live. live. That's just that won't nothing extra. That was just to maintain. You feel what I'm saying and um. Just woke up one day, man. Some one thing led to another. Some 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 stuff happened. Wife got in a car accident. Wife got pro, wife got pregnant. Wife got in a car accident. My shit in the port was kind of coronavirus hit, and I was mm. like, yo, we just you gotta go. We gotta hit the reset button. You know the reset button that they tell you that you can't hit on life. I'm hitting it right now, and you know I gave up the house because you had the dunk. What 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 uh gave it up what a fat for that gave it up i just bought another one though i ain't customized it but uh i, I had a 04 grand marquis on 22s that uh i got a lot of flat because i admitted i rented the rims but you know jigaboo <laughs> marmalade hey, scooping didn't i tell y'all hey man hey look man so you just had to do it for all the times you said you was gonna do it yeah you know it's just again man i am who i am i was raised in the 757 man so it's just Certain parts of... We don't of, do Chevys, we do Ford. Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just certain <laughs> certain things that, you know, you just got it. Even with the car I got now, I mean, am I going to put some wheels on that? Maybe. It won't be in the same way. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it probably go put some feet on them. But, yeah, I, like I said, man, I gave it all up, man. It's just that keeping up with the Jeffers and shit is, is, is very expensive. So, I mean, it, 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 does, it, does, it does cost money. But I know that... I've done, I, listen, I went down there for a while, spent about nine racks. <laughs> the while before that was about six. The while before that was about five. I'm known to be in the Ritz calls. You feel me? 
Obviously. You know what I'm saying? I'm known <laughs> to, be, to be all over the place. That's how I get down. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the biddies was on me. Let's, let's, let's just go and throw that out there in the front for sure. And, and did I partake in the biddies? I'm celibate. So I can't really get into that. But what I will say is this. I spent some money. And yeah. then I turned around in 2019. I looked around and said, God damn, I'm by myself. Yeah. And, and the Rona done hit. Yeah. I'm by myself and the money looking light. 